Hi everyone, this is Bill from Leith Karate Academy, and today I'm gonna to show you two methods that I use to switch the grip on my bow. Let's begin. The first method I'm gonna show you is what I call an over-under switch. So I have one hand palm up on the bow and one hand palm down, just in a neutral grip. Keeping my hands as connected to the bow as possible, I'm gonna take my front hand and release my grip and rotate over, hooking the fingers and the thumb around the bow. Then I'm gonna take my thumb on my rear hand, place it over the top of the bow, hook into my thumb into the bow and swing the rest of my hand around. Again, from here, I'm gonna take my front hand, release the grip of my fingers, press my palm into the bow, keep it connected the entire time, and grip. With my rear hand, place my thumb over the top of the bow, swing it around, wrap my fingers around starting with the pinky first, and grip tight to switch my hands. What's important when I'm doing any switch of hands or grip with the bow is that I keep my hands connected at all times to the weapon. Uh, I don't want to release my grip like this when I'm, switching, when I'm switching my hands. If my hand comes off the bow in this position, I leave myself vulnerable to getting the bow knocked on my hands, or if my other hand isn't as strong in my grip, of dropping it by accident. I've done that plenty of times in my training where I think I have a good grip, I go to switch, and the bow goes flying on my hands. You don't want that to happen to you. So when you're using the bow, grip your hands tight. What I do is I'm, as I'm opening my front hand is I take my rear hand and I twist my wrist a little bit, so I'm pushing the bow into the palm of my forward hand, which helps connect my hand to the bow as I'm doing the exchange. So as I'm lifting my fingers up here, my rear hand's twisting in, and I keep my hand connected as close to the bow. I'm pressing inward here. And then the same thing as I switch my rear hand, I'm twisting the bow into the palm of my left hand. As I hook my thumb around, I'm still pressing inward, so the bow is twisting up creating pressure into my grip while this hand's pushing down, creating the opposite pressure so I can switch in a quick and effective and controlled manner. The second method of switching your grip on the bow I call the sliding switch. So from a neutral grip, I'm gonna slide my rear hand up the bow. I'm gonna slide my forward hand down the bow at the same time, bringing my hands to this position here. From there, I flip my hands over and my hands continue moving in the direction they were traveling. So in a, slow, in a slow motion, this hand comes down, this hand comes up, my hands rotate over, this hand comes down, this hand comes up, and then I grip the bow. A little faster, the hands are gonna slide down the bow, and at the very end, I'll grip tight. The key thing for this grip is that I don't want my hands to travel over the other. So as I bring one hand down, for instance, my right hand here, I don't want it to slide on top of the left hand. Now I'm only holding the bow with one hand. Again, something we want to avoid. So I want to make sure as I'm doing this switch, I open both hands up in this position here as they're sliding down the bow. Now there's only going to be a moment where we're at our most uh, vulnerable or our most exposed to losing control of the bow, and that's here. So as I'm doing this, I'm going to be doing it in a fast motion so that movement happens in a split second and I can quickly grip the bow at any other time in the switch. Now I recommend practicing both these types of switches in a number of ways. Start at the basic level, we're just standing still and just switch your hands. I don't even have to stand in, the, in a, any sort of stance, I can just stand with my feet neutral and just switch your hands one after the other. This to me is the best way just to get used to the types of switches that we're practicing and get used to how the bow travels in your hand while performing them. Then you can put yourself in a stance and do the same thing just from the side of the body. So I can be here, just switching, or if I'm here, just switching and changing directions on my grip. And then I recommend practicing while changing your stance. So if I'm in a right stance here, I can do a forward strike, for instance, switch the grip of my bow, chamber it up, and then step through to a strike with my left side. Switch the grip of the bow, bring it up, step through to a grip of my right side. I can do that while stepping across the floor, or I can do that while switching from a neutral position. I could strike, switch my grip, step back to neutral, strike forward with the other hand. I especially like doing this as a partner drill with my sliding switch. So I'm here, step and strike, switch the grip, step and strike, always returning to neutral. And then of course you wanna practice transitioning from one grip to the other using a variety of strikes. So we have our basic forward strike, we can switch to a mid-level strike, we can switch to a low strike. So we try to use these types of switching techniques with both hands, and we can practice developing power and speed off both sides of the body. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel, leave a like and a comment, and get out there and train. See you soon.